dog. <laughs> don't say. Don't, just don't anything. say anything. Don't mention the dog. Well, who do we think? I've, I'm getting a lot of Snoopy. I'm getting a lot of Brian. What do we think? Let's say uh, I just think you're really hot. Don't look at my shoe. You just think I'm what? I'm really hot. Oh, thanks, man. That's very nice. That's that's a first, I think. Uh, you look good in that dog head. Did, has anybody like really like kind of grabbed you a little bit? I didn't touch a little bit. A lot of, lot of. Tried to mount you? No, not yet. That'd be weird. But I'm sure it's gonna happen some point. It's only Friday. We still got the whole weekend ahead. Okay, so cloning. Yeah. That's what the show is about. Big news story yesterday: John Lennon's tooth. Someone bought it. I think a Canadian actually I wants to clone John Lennon. You guys are my new cloning experts. What do we think? Good or bad idea? He's, he's, he's bring him back, man. Let's what have. Is let's what is that? Science fiction? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's crazy. That's. <laughs> I know it gets deep because I'm dressed as like an idiot right now, but. Cloning, good or bad? What do we think? Well, cloning, I mean, it's around us all the time. There is, we, we, we've cloned plants for, for millennia. Plant, but not humans. Not humans. Oh, you're serious. You're human cloning. Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, that's what your show's about. Human. <laughs> I'm bringing it back to the real world. I thought you were just talking cloning and science. Um, human cloning, bad idea. Bad, bad idea. idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Do you want to meet yourself dressed as a dog? No. <laughs> not even close. No one wants to meet me dressed as a dog. So you guys are very coy about season two up here on the panel. I think we. I think people we got. Have to be. I know, but that's what I've always wondered about about creators and showrunners. It must be so difficult because you want to give people as much as you can, but at the same time, half the fun is keeping the mystery inside. Yeah, it's difficult because we just. I mean, we spent the entire day today. That's what we do all day long, and it's a gas. We love it. A lot of the right, the other writers are here, and that's what we do all day long. And you come here and you go, I can't tell can't you. Tell I you can't that. tell you that. <laughs> Does yeah. it give you ideas though? When people, I mean, a lot of good ideas came from the crowd. I think too today. There's there there's been good ideas. Like we see interesting things posted on like blogging. Like a lot of people have like really thought about the show and have thought about like where the show could possibly go. Also, I mean, it's really cool. I mean, maybe we should maybe we should hire some hire some fans fans for i just ideas yeah just bring yeah. them in as a big jam smart people well, well jam fan jam i think we should have a fan jam on felix's set all right with the disco that's ball good, going there you go because we have a disco ball on in the in felix's loft mm -hmm. it's pretty cool deal <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to segue this one into. But I'm always curious about the writing process. Are you sitting ac across from each other? How does it, how does the writing for the two of you work? Where did the conception of this show come from? I guess that's two separate questions. The I mean the 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 concept of the show came uh, um, something that John pitched me ten years ago, which was a girl gets off a train. Um, looks across the tracks and sees some her doppelganger, and in that moment, the doppelganger commits suicide. So that's the opening scene of the of, of the movie. But he had no idea what it, that's, and I was like, "Great, what else? Nothing. You got nothing. I don't know." So <laughs> you just called it a movie. Was it originally going to be a movie? Originally, it was going to be a movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So is it better or worse to have it as a TV show now that you have to continue this thing forever, whereas a movie is two-hour story wraps? We could never finish a, a film script because we didn't know how to pack it all in. So. Yeah, we didn't know. We literally couldn't answer it in two and a half hours. So it made sense for us to spin it into something longer. And and it's, you know, I, I think it just, it, it, we realized that, that the concept just offered so much more than just a two-hour two hour movie. Well, it's you know? be more fun to play it out too longer and think of little little character nuances for everyone, right? Yeah, and then you can kind of also put off the answers that you don't really have. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pulling a lost. Okay. So in eight seasons in a movie, we're still going to be angry and have no answers. That's hey, great. we have lots of the answers, all right? Okay. We just, there's a few that we don't have. <laughs> Yet. <only> partially lost. <laughs> partially lost. <laughs> <laughs>